Hi, I'm Valerie from Motopress. In this quick video, I will show you step by step how to install a Villaggio WordPress theme from a zip file using the upload method within WordPress. What's more, you learned how to add properties and enable instant bookings, how to customize the front page, and activate testimonials. So, without further delay, let's get into it. Once you have the themes zip file saved to your computer, you'll need to log into your WordPress dashboard, and that is the administrative area from where you can add plugins, themes, and content and manage your WordPress site. Once logged in, from your dashboard's left pane, navigate to Appearance, Themes. In that section, you'll find all the default themes that come with WordPress or other uh, previously installed themes. To add a new WordPress theme to your list, click on the Add New Theme button in the upper middle part of the screen, and by clicking that button, WordPress will launch a screen where you'll see a list of the most popular themes. Uh, what you have to do is uh, click on the Upload Theme button to reach the dialog box for uploading a file from your computer. So here we hit the Choose File button. The page will now prompt you to find the zip file of your theme that you downloaded. Uh, be sure to click the Install Now button once. Uh, often, when the installation button is clicked multiple times, usually by accident, WordPress gets confused and creates multiple directories, which then confuses it even more. So once installation is finished, the confirmation page pops up. From here, you can select to either preview the theme, activate it, or go to the themes page. Activate is going to be the choice here. Another confirmation screen shows up with two verifications that your theme has been activated. And that's it. You have now installed your WordPress theme. Once the theme is installed and activated, you will see a message at the top of the screen that advises which plugins are recommended for the theme. So, click on the Begin Installing Plugins link onto this message, and you will be taken to the Install Required Plugins screen. Here, you will see a list of the plugins that need to be installed and activated. Click in the tick box to the left of the plugin title to add a tick to every plugin. And then in the Bug Actions drop down list, select Install and click Apply. WordPress will go through the installation process for each plugin, let it run through. Now you're back on the Install Required Plugins page where we need to activate all the newly installed plugins. Click on the tick box next to the plugin title to add a tick to all items again and change the Bug Actions drop down list option to activate. Then click Apply. After a few seconds, the page will update and you'll see a message that the plugins were activated successfully. And that's it. All the required plugins are now installed and activated. Next, I return to the dashboard, and at this stage, you should be offered to install all system pages automatically. System pages are created so that the travelers can be redirected properly after each action, and these are search results, search availability, a complete booking, booking confirmation, and booking cancellation pages, and they contain appropriate shortcodes and messages. And if you skip that step, 
And then you should add the pages with the needed shortcodes by yourself. If you want to match the demo layout exactly, it helps to have the sample content from the demo installed. We provide an easy way to import sample data with a plugin called One Click Demo Import. And to import sample data in one click, navigate to Appearance, Import Demo Data. All you need to do is to click on the Continue and Import button. You can now explore the theme settings and begin to create your website. For your future rental website to look like the default Villager theme, you should start working with our premium hotel booking plugin. Firstly, ensure the plugin is activated and pay attention to the accommodation and bookings menus on your WordPress dashboard. To set up the plugin, start with adding seasons. Season is a specific period that can come with different pricing for your rentals. For example, summer 2024. It also can be weekends, the holiday season. You should not set the prices at this stage. Just specify the periods when the price will more likely differ. After this, if you provide any kind of services, for example, transfer, mail catering, whatever, you can add them via the services menu. And if you want to list your rentals in different locations, you should add the locations via the categories menu and they will be showcased right on the preview image of your properties. Uh, and alternatively, you may create a separate menu based on these categories. And amenities can be also added via the respective menu under accommodation. And now we are ready to add your rentals. To add a new accommodation type, hit that Add Accommodation Type button here. In my case, I'll take the opportunity and show you a ready example from the demo content. Here, uh, you add a title and description, assign a category to the accommodation type, and include amenities. And if you have a lot of accommodations of, of the same type, uh, you can simply generate the needed number of them. Also, from here, we can add photos, occupancy, view, bed types, and additional services that you provide. Time to set the pricing. With Hotel Booking, uh, you configure pricing for each accommodation type. You can add rates to present the same accommodations with different conditions, for example, refundable uh, and non-refundable. Uh, your guests will be able to choose rates when booking a property. And if you also want to adjust uh, the per guest price variables for each rate, uh, select the Enable Variable Pricing option, and this will let you extra price parameters for each rate based on a number of guests. By clicking the plus icon on the right uh, in the Season Prices section, you can add different prices per night depending on their number. The next step will be configuring general plugin settings, and the first section is for selecting the system pages, and next comes booking confirmation settings. Then we see options for account creation, after that, uh, search options, and currency following MISC settings. And there is also a checkbox to disable booking. Display options will allow you to turn on or off the light box for the images, or for example, to choose the search availability calendar theme. And if you want to rent accommodations on OTAs like Airbnb, uh, you can synchronize your bookings easily thanks to iCall file format. And the next three tabs are dedicated to emails, so you can look through and edit all the admin and customer emails and customize the email template. And if you want the travelers to pay online, click on the payment gateways, and here you can set up general settings 
full or deposit amount to pay, deposit time, deposit amount, default payment gateways, and so on and so forth. And after that, you can configure all payment methods available with the plugin. What's more, it's worth mentioning it is possible to set booking rules for your site. All these rules can be applied to all accommodation types or any individual ones. For example, you can determine on which days guests can check in or check out, or you can set restriction, which allows you to set minimum and maximum length of stay. Also, using this menu, you'll be able to block the booking option for chosen accommodations. On top of that, uh, there are minimum and maximum advanced reservation rules and booking buffer rules to represent prices to your guests in as transparent manner as possible you should go to the taxes and fees submenu and configure taxes and fees to display the property rate on the website with the tax and fees charges included it's even possible to create early bird and last minute discounts to reward guests who book in advance and make last minute plans. And looks like we've done the biggest piece of job. If you want your front page to be static with all content added, you should go to settings, reading, and make sure to set front page displays to static page. The front page is easy to customize visually via WordPress customizer by going to Appearance, Customize. Here you can visit the Site Identity section to edit the site title and add a logo. Also, it's possible to update the tagline. The theme options will allow you to enable the front page slider. Moreover, you can change a site layout and show or hide footer text. To change colors, go to colors and you can change the color scheme with a color picker and you can change the background color, main text color, brand color and brand color hover for buttons. If you want to set your custom image on the background, navigate to the background image and upload it. To edit any of the menus, go to menus and there are four menu locations, footer, links, primary, and social. You can customize or delete any of them. You can customize them visually by dragging and dropping the items, editing their content, creating new items, and so on. Also remember that the alternative way to customize your menus from the WordPress dashboard is via the appearance menu interface. With content options, you can decide whether to display post details such as date, categories, and tags. Villagio features these widget areas on the front page, and you can reorder and add new widgets at your discretion. And if you want to change the slideshow effect and set the time for sliding the properties, in the accommodation type slider, you should go back to the theme options and apply the preferable settings there. And you may also notice the blue icons with the pencil. Uh, you can click on them to get instant access to all the theme parts you want to modify. And of course, you can view, add, or delete widgets from the dashboard in the appearance widgets. The Jetpack plugin powers testimonials. If you want to activate and add testimonials on your website, you should first activate the testimonial custom content type settings. And for this, hover over Jetpack in the left hand menu and click Settings. On that settings page under Writing, scroll down until you see the custom content types section. To activate the testimonials custom content type, just flick the toggle switch on next to testimonials and it will turn green once it is activated. And that's it. You have now activated Jetpack's testimonials feature. 
to create the new testimonial. Hover over the new testimonials item in the left hand menu and click add new or all testimonials options. These are testimonials from the demo content and you can edit them or delete them and create new ones. And that's how it looks on the front end. To display testimonials within a post or a page, we use a short code. The short code you need to use it is called testimonials. You can customize your testimonials appearance by adding attributes to your short code. By default, testimonials are set to be displayed in one column, but you can change this with the columns attribute. For example, this short code displays the testimonials in three columns. Also, it's important to mention that we suggest using the Villaggio child theme that comes with the theme package you download, as it helps you keep your changes safe when the main theme gets updated. To wrap things up, I've just walked you through the steps from installing and activating your theme to configuring the basic settings of the plugin that is responsible for recommendation listings and bookings. We've also covered the customization options of the theme, and if you still have any questions about the theme, let us know in the comments below. We'll be glad to answer all of them. I hope this video was helpful. If so, don't forget to like it. And of course, remember to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are released. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.